All right, it is Friday, folks, and I have to say you guys called into the hotline this week about a number of issues, and at one point this week's feedback went to the dogs, literally. How about this? Two tri-state dogs just tie the knot. Not kidding. Back the story of two pooches getting married, complete with a full ceremony, had Steve Buckner in Forest Park barking up the hotline. Is that really news? I mean, do you really have to broadcast something like that? Maybe somebody may be interested in that, but I think that's a wasted time of, of news broadcast. So come on, guys. Steve, we love news just like you. And when it comes down to it, stories like this can make people sit, stay, and perhaps shake things off if they've had a rough day, especially after several stories of fires, shootings, and people at their worst. In the end, I really wonder if she signed a prenup. The issue with the largest number of calls this week deals with the bill now on Governor John Kasich's desk, which would make it illegal to abort a pregnancy if it's determined the fetus has Down syndrome. Let's listen to some of the calls. I am so pleased that there is a bill that passed the Ohio Senate to keep the right to life of a Down syndrome preborn baby. Killing unborn babies is the worst act that mankind can do. I'll tell Governor Kasich to get his ink pen ready to sign it. While there are obvious supporters for the bill, there were more calls into the hotline against it. The owner of the uterus makes all the decisions. Mind your own body business. I strongly recommend that Governor Kasich veto the bill. They need to pump their break and get back in line because they out of order. They have no right to tell you what you should do with your life or with your body, period. It is the woman's choice, and Governor Kasich needs to consider that before he signs that bill. An abortion is a woman's choice. That is between her, her doctor, and God, and the government needs to quit getting involved in people's rights and women's rights. <laughs> Finally, we get a lot of criticism from people, and it can seem like getting the perfect newscast together is like Goldilocks finding the right porridge. We are sick and tired of all this weather on the station. Half of your news is weather. We like to hear news, not the weather. We could just open up the door and know what's going to happen. He takes too much, too much of the show. You might as well just call it the weather station. Oh well, man, many people enjoy Steve's in-depth and exclusive forecast details you'll only find here on Nine Inch Side, but thank you for the call. And on that note, Steve, how's the weekend forecast? Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> give me a I gotta pay the mortgage lady, all right? Come on, give me a break here.